what are the key industry requirements for choosing a WMS? Here to talk about that today is Sean Moore, CIO of CJ Logistics Americas. Welcome, Sean. Thank you for having me. Um, so tell me, what are some of the key industry requirements for choosing a, a WMS? Well, what, what we're seeing in the industry is three key areas. One is uh, a replacement of technical debt, meaning legacy technology that needs to be upgraded in new software. The second is a growth in uh, new expanding business opportunities. Uh, cold chain has been a, an area of industry that is changing and being a little more dynamic and uh, it's a place we're moving into. And then third is um, thinking about cloud and security as many of our customers in the industry are demanding sort of upgraded security requirements as you look to choose a vendor, so. Right, great, thank you. So let's dig into those a little bit. Tell yeah. me about the technical debt side of things. Are a lot of companies mired in legacy systems <laughs> from all over the place? I'm going to guess the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. So there's definitely um, multiple industries and customers out there that are using legacy technology, whether it's AS400 or mainframe. Uh, those technologies are becoming somewhat obsolete, as well as the resourcing and technical capabilities to support them. So it's urgent for us and, and folks in the industry to, to consider making those moves and, and finding a new technology, so. What sort of degree of simplification are we talking about here? Simplification in terms of... Uh, or, str or streamlining, shall we streamline. say. I mean, you know, if you've got a whole load of stuff basically held together with scotch tape. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I'd like, I, I guess I'm looking for a before and after picture. Right, right. So the before picture is traditionally very homegrown uh, legacy technology where the functionality of the system is really embedded in the people's minds, you know, not maybe documented as well. Um, but as you look to new technology, the vendors do a much better job of releasing current updates, staying up to date, and we as an industry can take advantage of that from uh, the WMS vendor and what type of capability they provide. That's really interesting. So you see in the in the 3PL and uh, service space yeah. a move away from homegrown systems into expert yeah. party systems. Yeah, yeah. definitely a, a number of great reasons to do that. Um, scalability and supportability of the system is as well. So a lot of key reasons to replace the technical debt. Great, wow, that's really interesting. Um, so uh, tell me a little bit about expanding the business portfolio. And you were talking about how cold chain has, has been a growth area for you. Right, and right. And that's something you need to serve with a, with a WMS that works for you. You know, in the industry in the United States, we're seeing a lot more cold storage. Uh, the food that you buy from the grocery store, serve to your children, a lot of it is frozen, right? Um, I know my kids like chicken, chicken nuggets, right? So we, we see that industry uh, trend happening across many CPG companies. Mm. And so the need for more cold storage facilities and the ability to uh, deliver those services to our consumer products companies is more and more relevant, so. So what are some of the challenges of a, of, of a cold chain as opposed to te room temperature specific to, to the WMS? Well, from a cold chain perspective, there is a, a number of FDA requirements that we have to monitor and track, uh, whether it's temperature control, whether it's making sure the product comes into the building and it's quality assured. So there's a number of other uh, really specific requirements around cold storage that we're making sure that our solution actually has embedded and that we can take advantage of. Right, so you're saying you can't just leave a pile of boxes in the corner of the warehouse for a week. And yeah, that's right. You, you don't want your ice cream melting on you, right? So. Sure. Yep. So Sean, finally, tell me a little bit about the requirement to have a more advanced technology platform with WMS. Yeah, there's two key things that, our, that customers are looking for uh, when we think about the third-party logistics business. Our consumer packaged goods companies, our industry itself, security becomes more and more paramount. As we went through uh, COVID and supply chain fluctuations, those disruptions were uh, uh, challenging, right? And so 
What many of our customers are seeking is an assurance that we have good security protocols that the systems and the software we provide are living up to you know, security standards that are nationally known and, and uh, industry well known. So like SOC 2 type 2 certification is key. Right. And so what we find is many companies internally struggle with trying to get that certification with their existing software. And so why one of our critical requirements was looking for uh, a vendor that had more security certifications, more industry expertise, and just making sure we've got that um, so that we can provide that information for our customers when they request. And it, is, it sounds a bit like parallel to the, to the move away from homegrown IT, you're also needing an outside expert because security is becoming so much more complex. Security yeah. is so complex, right? And so having that industry expertise and that knowledge with inside the vendor of choice that we choose, uh, you know, it's something that it's very difficult for us to keep up with. And so that's, that's why we're looking uh, uh, for our vendor to provide that and bring that to the table, so. Good. Okay, thank you, Sean. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about CJ Logistics Americas and what you do. Yeah, so CJ Logistics Americas is a full service third party logistics company. We provide uh, supply chain solutions in warehousing, transportation management, asset management, brokerage, and freight forwarding globally. Uh, the company has grown uh, over the years and we have offices in Canada, North America, and Mexico. Wow. Wonderful, well thank you very much. Thank you. We've been talking about the key industry requirements for choosing a WMS with Sean Moore from CJ Logistics Americas. Thank you for watching.